Hello, and welcome back to the, what I'm hoping will be the last episode of this challenge on uh, Prince here for um, yeah, we keep getting spies. Um, we're doing a religious conversion, and it's a it's a good it's working out well. Then Royal Society. Technically, we're just going to do that because I've got nothing better to do. Archaeology Museum. Yes. Sewer. Yes. All this. Nothing to do. Holy Site Prayers. Holy Site Prayers. You. Disguise. It's no time. You can be here. Just let that other thing ram into you. Okay. Okay. I think that may be... Is that Poland not converted? I've got the majority of their cities. All right. Okay, now I've got you. You've technically promoted. Flanking bonus. I mean, if it got promoted several times, gypsum product. The gypsum product would be nice, but I've got so much more to do with you. Um, sure. Let's do that. Okay, and that, 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 where is your next good move? Actually, going there to get that online is not a bad plan. Like, there, we've got so many spies. All right. Might as well just hit that one on the way. Okay. There we go. Um... And let's get, if I can get Rome converted through its small cities, that's fine. It's now just a matter of grabbing a few Egyptian cities. So I'm going to divert, I'm thinking most of my task force to Egypt here. Because yeah. We'll go for that. 
We'll just go in favor of it. Everyone said yes. Oh. We're going to do the Nazca City State. Yeah. Just go with that. That holy site. Sure, we'll just put that there. And yeah, we're just making that policy even better. It's just a pure policy upgrade. Go check that there. Okay. Start moving that way. I think they have you into Ostia. You come down that way. There we go. Debater. Indulgence vendor. All right. So many spies are attacking Evora. Get that done shortly. Go ahead and do a barracks. That'll keep you busy and out of my hair for a while. We might as well just build one there. Food wise we should be fine, so let's let's go for a shopping. There we go. That way, if they add another city, we have a little bit more. Pilgrim. Orator. I'm thinking of Vora needs double spy protection. Okay. All right. This should get it right here. And as we do this, majority conversion. Just hit Kumai, I think, on the way. All right. We'll learn how to do space travel. Not going to help necessarily too much. Okay, temple that you are busy. Come leave me alone. OK. 
Okay. Let's have you come back that way. Ostia. Bye. Let's do that. Let's do that. I haven't converted your holy city. But I don't need to. That's just like a flex. Speaking of flexing, though, I might as well flex. Flexing is so much fun. Okay. It's only the three that I don't have. There we go. And I think as soon as we hit, like, I'm just going to refuse that deal. I don't want to make deals. Am I going to get it right here? This quickie? Does that do it? I think that may do it, because that's in six citizens. So yeah, it was the religious pivot just because I was like, oh, um, we can play our faith up there, but let's come back in here. But yeah, it was, it was just, as I was looking at Zed, only one religion that had just popped that was essentially vulnerable to being, you know, plucked. I was like, okay, yeah, let me grab that got you know all the other cities there question is how much am i from excess great people points how much am i getting from getting 90.8 from, oh yes, because you're converting your production into that. Um, excess great people, let's see. So I had on mine getting gold from religion. Okay, so how much gold? Only, a, only 183 of that was from gold. But you know, it's, it's still a sizable amount. That's some tourism. How much tourism was I actually, like, getting anyway? From resource monopolies, yeah. So I think you could really go also for a... Um, a um, tourism strategy if you can get over to this continent and kind of get the luxuries going. But it's, a, again, a very interesting kind of like, yes, encouraging you to establish colonies to get access to all the monopolies and corporations that you can't get over here because they just give you some iron and some horses and that's it. If you, I think a little bit of niter. And if you want anything more than what's on this, you've got to go over and colonize. So that was a very interesting game and then also let me get a lot of suzerainties which gave me a lot of boosts 
and, you know, set myself up for the win. I still think the early expansion was good here. Even though I got two early cities and kind of got these down, actually expanding out here, there was a lot of good land that was, you know, valuable um, and just set myself up well so I could just, like, keep this churning and this would give me a baseline level of production, which was able to support my endeavors to go over here. Probably spent a little bit more than I needed to trying to get this online. Um, but, you know, the more cities is the more holy sites, the more, you know, faith generation you can make. Um, and then let's just enter into screenshot mode where you see the core kind of empire here. Kind of abutting the Cree just a little bit. Um, but primarily kind of within this mountain line here, coming down to the Cree. And then we come out here and all our wonderful colonies kind of up and around here that we settled. Didn't really go that much. Didn't, didn't need to get it all, but got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colonies, seven there, so 16 total cities. Not bad. Nice, expansive empire. And I think I'll, I'll still look into, you know, doing this with Hungary on Emperor and, like, how is that different? And, may, you know, originally I thought with this one I was going to do a science victory simply because Portugal, it has its navigation school and there'd be more pressure for science. But I was opportunistic for faith. Um, and, it, and it kind of came at an unexpected place because when I got my belief, I was like, oh. I can get the early amenities that I'm going to be missing by not having um, um, what what is that that thing um, luxury resources. There wasn't going to be luxury resources, so two extra amenities out of a district plus two housing um, was pretty solid. And then I could use the extra faith, and I got into choral music, so that got me my um culture production because like yes i got like one of these eventually but you know two you know by the end of the game but i was really not using theater districts i was using um you know other alternatives to that and it was just very interesting to you know like oh here's a way i can get that also, um, and with Hungary, my trade routes are going to be less valuable, but I'm going to have a little more flexibility to do, you know, internals or more internationals across the land. So it's like, I'll actually be able to, like, in my internal cities, we'll actually have an option for decent, you know, trade routes that aren't just internal trade routes, um, which is kind of Portugal's thing is they just, they really need, their cities that aren't on the coast really suffer because they they have to go across water um, to get to uh, foreign trade. Otherwise, they're stuck with internals, which are far weaker. So um, that, is a, that, is, that is a hindrance that will be removed. But, oh, my trade routes to London. My trade routes to London just basically supported me this game. They were so solid in terms of getting me what I needed, because I was just able to sit here and work off those trade routes and just enjoy them. Now, certainly my Fedora's provided a lot of benefit to the England player, but that was, you know, nice. And I was even thinking of trying to do an early, you know, hit on England, but I think I was better off having them as a solid trade partner especially when they were just like, nope, can't expand, so they were weak, so all this extra gold I was giving them was like, not enough, because they were stuck on three cities. But at this point, um, it's a little bit of a shorter video, but I think, I think it's good enough to call it here. So I want to th say thank you very much for joining me, and be seeing you.